So now what we need to do is we need to handle the server side of this uploader. So we need to go over to Aptana, right click on admin, choose new file. And we're going to call it uploads.php. Now there is a step-by-step -step tutorial in the server side handling portion of the drop zone website. If you click on this, this will walk us through everything we need to do to set this file up. Now I've already done this before, so I'm going to walk you through it. But if you need to refer back to this, you always can if you need any further explanation of what's going on. So we're going to go ahead and just copy this whole block of code here. So highlight it, click control C, go over to uploads.php and we'll paste it in there. And I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. Now you see these numeric comments here at the end of the lines. All this is is a reference back to the step-by-step -step tutorial. So these numbers line up with the steps. This first line here creates the variable that holds the directory separator. This is basically a fancy way to output the slash character. However, it, it does save us the trouble of having to concatenate with the slash dot quote slash quote dot. So it does make it a little bit easier. The next variable here holds the name of the folder. So we're also going to need to create this folder. We'll be saving these images on the public side. So we're going to need to use a dot dot slash. So let's right click on the project name, choose new folder, and call it uploads. Now we need to check if the files array has anything in it. So really quick, let's go back to users.php and change the action in the form tag from hashtag to uploads.php. So what's going to happen is when an image is dropped here, the form will run this uploads.php behind the scenes using Ajax. So what this if is doing is making sure that the upload actually happened. Because if it did, there would be file information stored in the files array. So if everything is uploaded correctly, this code is going to run. The first line here is going to create a variable with the temporary file name. And this is a file that's been created by PHP when uploaded and it's stored in cache. We next set up the target path, which is basically a path to the folder that we want to upload. Then we set up a variable for the target file, which is the path and the file name together. Basically the, the URL or the path to that file name. Then this move uploaded file function will take that temporary file and then move it out of cache and put it into the folder we designate or the uploads folder. So let's save this and then test it out in the browser. So reload the page and we can drag an image in here. Now let's hop back over to Aptana and check to see if that image is actually in the uploads folder. And sure enough it is. So now we can move on to the next step.